In this video, we're going to create a new project. And in doing so, we're going to look at a little bit of the project structure. We're going to look at how Altium saves the files associated with each project. Because after all, as we will see over and over again, one of the important themes about using the Altium Designer tool and many EDA tools is that it's really a database manager. And it's really important to keep that in mind as we look at how it's used and what the file structure is. So we'll look at how Altium saves some of the files used to manage the database. We're going to add the three really important elements that we need in any circuit board project. The first is a schematic page and then a layout page and we're going to look at the integrated library. We'll explore the two built-in or default integrated libraries and then we're going to install our integrated library with the parts that we're going to use for our class. As we'll see, it's called a library because it's really a library, not of books, but of components. And kind of carrying that metaphor a little bit, each book or each component in the library has two chapters. It has the symbol chapter and it has the footprint chapter. And we're going to explore those a little bit in this video. Before we create the actual project in Altium Designer, let's talk a little bit about folder and directory organization. I like to keep all of my circuit board projects together in one place. I have a folder in one of my directories that is just all of my printed circuit board design projects. And it's got them organized by kind of type and application and, and different programs. I have one folder that I've created in which I'm going to put all of my practice projects. And it's in this directory that we're going to add our project for today. Altium is going to create its own folder for the project. And in that folder, it's going to put all the files associated with the database that is the project. And when we're done, we're going to have a number of files within the folder that Altium creates for us, and I'm going to put it in this directory. And we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. The first step then in Altium Designer is to s create a new project, and that project is going to be the, the database that contains all the information associated with our circuit board. So we're going to come to New, Project, and we're going to just use the default uh, 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 structure to the project. The name of this project, I'm going to make it very creative, I'm going to say practice one and the location is going to be I'm going to browse over to that directory that I created here are my uh, design projects and here are my practice projects and it's in this directory that I'm going to tell Altium hey create the folder that has all the information about this database that will become my project I'll say I'm going to select that folder and now Altium is going to create it so it's going to create that folder, and in that folder, it's going to place all the appropriate files. Now, at this point, it's created the Practice One PRJ PCB. Pay careful attention to the extensions. We're going to use those over and over again. Let's take a look at what Altium has created for us. Here is my uh, Practice Projects, and look, it created this folder. And in this folder, right now, it has the PRJ PCB. This is the master database that has all the links of all the files that will go into my circuit board database. There are three important elements that I need in order to build a circuit board. The first is the schematic page. The second is the layout page, which in Altium speak is the PCB. And the third is the library that has all of the components. We're going to add a schematic page and a layout page. And then we're going to look at the library and see some of the structure in the library. So to add a schematic and a layout, we're going to come to the project. We're going to right mouse click and we're going to say add new to project. We're going to add schematic and right mouse click add new PCB. That's the layout page. So here are the two additional components. And now just to for completeness, let's save this project. And you see a little asterisk that says, hey, you haven't saved the work. So let's save everything. So we're going to come and highlight this project. We're going to right mouse click. We're going to say save. And it's going to say, hey, what about that PCB doc? This is, again, pay attention to the extensions. This is PCB doc. This is, in Altium speak, this is the layout database. And you notice where it's going. It's in that practice one folder. So we're just going to keep that file name the same. 
Now it's going to say, hey, what about that sheet? And remember the extension. It's .sch. This is the schematic document. And it's going to put it in that same practice folder. And we're done. And now when we go and we look at that folder directory, we find that, sure enough, here's that folder Altium created that is my project. And in that project are all the databases. The PRJ is the master file that has all the links to these databases. And I have the PCB. That's going to be the layout. And I have the SCH. That's going to be the schematic page. That's how Altium is going to organize the project. And so when I want to save my project, when I want to do something with this project, everything that is local about the project is going to be contained in this folder. Never ever manipulate the names of the files in the database. Because it's a database, everything is linked. And the only way you should manipulate the database, manage the database, is through the database manager, which is the project panel. When we click on the sheet for the schematic, this is the name of the sheet, if we want to rename the name of that sheet so it still is linked to the database, all we have to do is a save as. And now we can call that name. We'll, it'll maintain the SCH doc uh, extension. We'll make that name here. Let's try it ELB schematic. Very clever name. We do a save. And now you notice we changed the name. And when we come back here to the database, we find that, hey, here is the new schematic database name. But there's also the old one there. We're not using that one anymore. We can delete that if we want to. It's no longer linked into our database because instead, we've got the new schematic page in the database.